Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, Jadybug. Hi, Annie. Hi, Ned. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Kalal. Who's this here? Hi, ABC Manifesting. Hi, Jesse Alex. Hi, guys. What's happening? This isn't the greatest light in the world, is it? Jesus. Ah, hey Queen. So I have this guy. He is so cute to me. I told myself I'm going to get him when I saw him out on a school Insta page. So at first I started seeing around campus. Then I saw him and he made this space and my friend told him to get my number. First he was telling me I'm a freshman and I'm young, but then he invited me to his house. So then we were cuddling. He let me sleep up. But Queen, tell me why he tells me I thought we were going to have sex. I told him he thought wrong. I'm not the type of girl, blah, blah. I'm still a for my first love, but I want to mess with didn't like that he told me I want to deal with him but not seriously my question is how do I change the situation for him to have a huge crush on me and take me out etc well stop assuming that he thinks all girls do that stop assuming that's what he was expecting from you and start assuming that he treats you like a queen he wouldn't dare expect that of you he was just joking or he was just testing the waters or he really wants you and that's why like have you got an association with guys and wanting just sex or did they expect that or that they disrespect you or you get used or something or just a story that guys want sex and and he would have been disappointed that you can give it to him or something just maybe a little story like that that's all it is and just imagine he is got a, he has got a crush on you and he's talking to all his friends about you and you end up together mm -hmm. and work on any self-concept stuff where you feel like someone would use you you know what I mean so I'm affirming my SP is begging to be in a relationship with me, but the thing is I don't affirm a lot. I affirm when I feel like it. That's good. I'm seeing movement like this month my SP came to my dorm and he didn't come across, come since September, so that's movement. He hugs me and he also talks to me when he sees me. What do you do when you think you should affirm for? I no longer feel the need to rush my manifestation. That's good. When SP begs me to get back into a relationship with him, it'll happen, but I'm trying not to focus on time. That's wonderful you're not focusing on time. Wonderful you're not focusing on him. Wonderful that you feel like you don't even need to affirm anymore. Don't that's all great. So whatever you're doing is working. You've obviously gotten the state. And just affirm if you get negative thinking. Do that and just see you and him together. Well, I was working on my self-concept with your I am chosen tape. My SP sis told me how he's showing affection towards their party in public. He told me he's only with her because of child. So I created a liar. First of all, why are you talking to the sister about a third party? You should be denying the third party in your mind. You should be banishing the third party in your mind. So you're literally keeping her alive by spying on her through the sister. So you're literally keeping her there. So if you're going to keep her there, what do you think is going to happen? And they'll start doing lovey-dovey fucking relationshipy things because you're so concerned about it. You're so concerned about it. You're going to keep her there. I totally believe what he said. Telling it doesn't matter what they say. It came out of your fucking brain. Why are you snooping around with the sister or asking the sister or listening to the sister in the first place? It's got nothing to do with him. I believed him. He lied to me. No. What comes out of their mouth came out your fucking brain. How have you been here this long? And now you're saying he said this. No, he's reflecting your thinking. What are you thinking? I'll take action to, and we'll take action towards divorce. Confused by 3D. You fucking created that 3D data bug. How have you been here this long? And you're asking me about the 3D that you created and blaming him for it. Oh, he lied to me. No, he's reflecting your self-concept of not being chosen and that bitch is chosen. The end. Guys, don't come in here telling me he said this when you've been here a really fucking long time. What have you really been thinking all this time? That he really won't leave her? That he really does want her? Or you're really not chosen? Or he hasn't left her yet? Or you have to spy? What have you been fucking thinking? Why are you even talking to the sister about it? That tells me right there that you are doing the right thing. You're keeping her alive in your reality. So what do you expect is going to happen? Stop that. Hey, I finally got your course. It's a positive issues of fear two. Oh, God, this just jumped. And three, which I thought fear two. But I was never physically, yeah, but my dad was absent. Okay. Well, darling, if someone's physically absent, like they're off drinking or they're off in their own little world drunk, it feels like abandonment, doesn't it? Because they're literally not there. I know what that feels like when you sit around with an alcoholic. It's like they're not present, even though they're present in the room with you. So how's that going to make you feel as a kid? Like they don't even care and they've literally left the building. Elvis has left the building, but he's still physically there, right? Guys, sometimes in the course, what you guys aren't understanding is that assessment is 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 uncovering your hidden thinking. And a lot of you are shocked by the assessment result. It's because it's hidden from you to protect you. So if you felt like you're abandoned your whole life by your dad because he physically wasn't like mentally present in your life because he was a drinker, then isn't your brain kind of keeping that information from you to keep you safe? Like 
so it knows when to warn you when you feel like someone else is going to leave. What keeps happening in your relationships, Annie? Tell me what keeps happening and you'll know because the pattern of relationships spells out what your brain's really thinking back there that's hidden. There's always a correlation, guys. So it all makes total sense to me that something I never worked on because I didn't think I needed to, but now I see a pattern in my life. Oh, there you go. Okay, sorry, I forgot to read the rest. So you see the pattern in your life now that matches that? That's what the assessment's for. So guys, if you haven't done my self-concept assessment, you'll understand that you might not, you might have, you might have to understand that you might not know yet what your self-concept issues are, and that might be why it's not working. Those of you who've gone and done my self-concept course and done the assessment will uncover new things that you didn't realize were there because they're hidden and now you know what to work on. That's great. Hi, Jerry. New SP has already told me he isn't interested in friends' benefits crap and is willing to wait for any anything sexual because he wants a real relationship. Love this guy, Nat. <laughs> Wonderful. I love that. Hi, Carla. Hi, H. Hi, H. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Kay. Super. Whilst my SP is now working from home and so am I because I'm not feeling too well, I got... S-I-C-K, I don't even say that word. So affirming for my recovery, but I also realized I was missing him all weekend and feeling triggered because now we can't hug each other and flirt with each other all day whenever we want. Look, it's just a couple of days, darling. Get a fucking grip. You're in the state of, oh, my God, it's going to fall apart. Why are you worried about not being able to hug him? Are you worried he's going to disappear after three days? What's going on there? It's not about the hugging. I call bullshit. Why are you so freaked out about it? It's a couple of days. Chill your beans. Get on with your life. Finally, manage your life. Oh, wonderful. Hi, Lord. Do you have any affirmations for being a talented actress, being recognized for my work? Everyone thinks I'm so talented. I am recognized everywhere I go. I'm famous. I get given the most amazing, um, worthwhile jobs. The roles I get are so meaty. Mm -hmm. I'm given such amazing roles to play. Things like that, don't I? Hi, has been slowly recatching my monkey. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, how are you, darling? Um, you're trying to put yourself on the pedestal again, just affirming we are happily together and we can't, can see each other whenever we want, including lots of dates. We'll do that, Dally, but why are you so worried about not seeing them for a few days because you're S-I-C-K? Why are you so worried about that? Hi, Lord, my money is better every day. Can't wait to tell you about my lavish lifestyle. Oh, your lavish lifestyle, yes, darling. I've got to start doing things to have a lavish lifestyle. I keep not doing things and I think, why am I going and doing things? Uh, my SP told me they didn't want a relationship and I've been affirming being in a better mindset. She started an argument out of the blue. I'm not reacting, just persisting. I also keep going to an old habit of watching who they follow and consistently wondering if there's someone else breaking the habit right now, though, with your help. So you've got a real whole, I'm not good enough, they don't want me, they want other people thought. So what do you think is going to happen? They're going to argue with you, push you away, not be with you because you've got a dominant story that they don't want to be with you. That's why you're fucking looking. Guys, correlate what you've been doing in the 3D and what you've been thinking in your mind with what just fucking happened. Oh, I've been searching for the Instagram, checking to see if they like anybody that's not me because I don't think they really want me deep down. I don't think they really like me. I'm scared of other people taking them away. Next minute, bing, they don't want you. And that's why you were fucking looking. So you literally manifested that. Stop thinking that. Think they only want you. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Start working on the I am chosen, I'm a priority, they want me and only me thinking. Go and do my sleep tapes, please. God damn it. You've manifested that and now you're asking me like, what do I do? Well, you weren't asking me what you to do, but maybe you figured it out. Hey, Lois, so I, the I remember when technique, do you say it one time or loop it? Well, have you convinced yourself that it's true? Just saying things one time doesn't really convince you. I remember when we used to be broken up. Now we're together. Bing. <laughs> I remember when he was such an asshole. I remember when we weren't talking. I remember when we had that whole period where we weren't speaking. Look at us now. Or if it just puts you in the state for that moment, great. But you want it to consistently put you in the state. So I'll say it more than a few times maybe to really cement it in your mind. It meant to be saturating your mind. Hi, Lord, the third party's finally gone. Oh, we're so happy. And now I'm just going to keep imagining and affirming we're already together so there would be no third parties, right? Yes, guys, please stop affirming that there'll be any more third parties. And, yes, imagine you're together. Absolutely. Know that you did that, so now you can now make you and, and be together. Finally managed to catch one in your lives. Yay. Oh, Shana. Lois, I'm on my way to dinner with my SP. Oh, seen him every day now for a week. 
he got a call, but I quickly shut that down and said, doesn't matter, enjoying the fruit of my affirmations and self-concept work, baby. Who cares if he get gets a call? It's just a phone call. Stop reading into it. That's wonderful. Hooray! <laughs> Hey, Laws, 14-year-old Melissa, I was thinking about what you told me all night and I think you may have helped me break that positive and negative thinking cycle. I'm taking what you said last night as you. I really yelled at you, Melissa, didn't I? Where is this next? Telling me to calm down and stop letting negative thoughts in and instantly shut them down. I think I'm going to benefit from this. Thank you for the yell. I needed it. I won't let you down. Oh, good, darling. You just, what it is is you keep coming in here like different every week. So I just want you to be consistent. Like, no. We're not letting that old thinking run us. Like, I had to really take control of my mind. When my cat went missing, I, look at her over here. Can you see? Can you see this cat sitting on the couch? Can you see her? <laughs> can you see her on the couch there? She has not gone out for two days, and that's so unusual, three days now. So unusual, right? But I had to really, I was having all kinds of horrible thinking in my mind about what could have happened to her run over by a car, stolen by somebody, eaten by a dog. I was getting all kinds of images. I had to control my mind to get her back. What you're doing is letting your mind run you at certain moments of the day. You can't. Mm -hmm. Good, Melissa, good. Okay, where am I? Well, I've got your self-concept course, a major on fear four, yes, with three and two right behind. I'm just checking which one they are, yeah, yeah. Been a while, are these fears connected to why I get major birth flow with SP and then it goes silent? Well, yeah, because you might let your old kid fears kick in as soon as you've got the contact. So they contact you and think, oh, they're still going to reject me. Oh, but they don't really love me. I hope they keep calling me because I might get rejected again. And then you do. Everything's connected to what's happening. So look at what's happening and think, how is this connected to what I think about me? That's wonderful. You've discovered them, darling. Keep working on those. Go back to the statements. In the assessment and write them as affirmations, the one that rung most true for you in four, three, and two, won't you? Loz, does the circumstances really matter? You mean really not matter? No, they don't really matter because you created them. Because the entertainment company that I want to audition for has been closed for months. Closed? Well, just imagine, well, why are you so, why are you so hell bent on it being that particular place? That's the how. What is it you want? Like, if you want a really good role, imagine you just get the role regardless of who's producing it or why is it that particular company that you're so hell-bent on but you can decide that they you have a job with them but what what is it you really want what's that with the end like that's the kind of the middle what is it you really want Danielle but just decide you work with them then and then it will come about that they'll get reinstated and starts again I'm about to apply for 130,000 job a year oh really darling decide you got it I feel like I deserve that amount now. Good. When you really step into the state of, oh, yeah, I deserve that money. Oh, yeah, I'm the kind of person who earns that money now. And then it just seems like monopoly money to you. Well, not monopoly money. You know what I mean? Like you just think, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I can earn that much. Why can't I? Uh, listening to subliminals helps so much. Love them. They target everything all at once. I don't believe in subliminals, darling, but sleep tabs, yes. But subliminals, when you don't know what they're saying, mm, I don't believe in that stuff, but I hope you really trust whatever you listen to. I don't even know what to comment because all I need to hear was, said last live it was truly a slap i needed reality of what i'm doing lol but i have been working on myself and now stop getting triggered good cindy good triggered of what i now see because i know it was once in my brain even though i've affirmed against it the success i had today was getting rid of this scar on my face i saw scraped off even though it was fresh oh really oh, amazing okay so cindy i don't want you to come in here anymore telling me about girls that are getting attention or some friend because you keep reiterating the fucking story you know what the issue is so now work on it. Stop reiterating something when it comes into your 3D that is a reverberation of that old story because you keep reaffirming it. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to say to you. Been affirming that I make money in my sleep. Each morning I wake up to a new payment notification on my Stripe, Venmo and Cash App accounts. Oh, I don't know you're doing that. Also, I remember I told you last week about the 1400 I got from my employer on accident last week and I told them about a fear of getting in trouble. Affirmed, I'm not paying it back and I'm not. Oh, wonderful, darling. Good. Yeah, don't you dare. Oh, because he's going to be working home for a while. It's just me. He's going to be working home for a while for me. It's just a few days. So that's what got me triggered, lol. We're going to stop that. Super, for fuck's sake. What would happen if they had to go on a work trip for a month? What would you just completely fucking fall apart? It's a couple of days. 
my brother and his fiance don't each see each other four weeks at a time because he has to walk, work away for four weeks. She doesn't go, he's never going to marry me because he's gone for four weeks. She just goes, he's gone to work. Love your obsession, mini course. Ah, oh, wonderful, guys. So, darling, that's great, Jenna. So, guys, if you're not in the squad, <coughs> you're missing out on the Make Them Obsessed mini course, which is out now. The link's in the comments. <coughs> I know that I create my circumstances, but I'm still upset with SP from a situation that I created, lol. I know, guys, it's hard to not separate that they didn't make that decision, but you really have to. Mm-hmm. Was watching an old live tonight and realized that I had this old belief relationships never last longer than three years. My mum would always tell me that in my old relationships. Oh, thanks. Thanks, mum. Thanks for that shitty bit of information. <laughs> That's not true. Get rid of that time. Hey, Lana. Hey, Christy. Lois, how do you break the same circumstance cycle? For 10 months, we've been hooking up. I act out. He says, I'm done. Stops talking to me. And then within three to four weeks, repeat it all over again. I want to break the cycle for good. I want a healthy, committed relationship with him. Well, you feel like you're not in one, so you're not. You feel like you're in a cycle, so you are. You keep reaffirming he's going to do that and assuming he's going to do that, so he does. Stop saying you're in a cycle. Stop saying you keep breaking up. Stop saying it. And work on your I'm not chosen. He doesn't love me shit. Whatever's going on in your mind that's causing that. How can I manifest my crush to ask me out on a date? Any affirmations you can recommend? Well, just imagine yourself on dates, darling, and say he's always asking me out. We're always going on dates. We're always going on date night. But also see yourselves together and work on yourself. So SP says he has others, but I'm his main one. Well, that sounds delightful. I was affirming I'm first to him. What did I do wrong? Well, you probably got a really strong story that you're not first, and that's why you were really, really focusing on first. So, you, so but what you've done is, guys, a lot of the time you've got to realise that when you did have shitty self-concept, you attracted in a person or manifested a person who wasn't going to choose you and choose others. Now they're still doing that. Even though you're affirming, they haven't just they haven't changed yet in your 3D or you're still seeing the old version of him who's a player or wants other girls and you haven't been able to manage to change that yet, your view of him, your story of him. So if you really can't change the story of him even though you feel like you're working on yourself, then he hasn't changed, but it sounds like you're focusing on him. I'm first to him, 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 him. I ha I'm the only one he wants. He, 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 fucking he. Are you working on I am chosen, I'm the priority about you? That would be why. It was the bump I needed to get to get rid of professionality and no other way. They said I need to wait till next year for an available appointment, but told me, no, use your brain, lol, so I did now. <laughs> And now it's gone, but I had this scar due to how deep it was. I affirmed the scar would go away, and now it's scraped off two days later, even though it was still healing. <laughs> I got my doctor to say, superficial scratch. I was saying, it is but a scratch, and it's a superficial wound. And she said, it's a superficial scratch in her Austrian accent. And I was like, that's such weird wording. And then it just disappeared. Wonderful, darling. Cycle only exists because you think it does. Stop saying it. Exactly. Hi, Kristen. Loz, everything with my SP has been great lately and he randomly told me he doesn't have feelings for me and he feels like he's taking advantage of me. It came out of nowhere. No, it never comes out of nowhere, Christy. It never does. It came out of your fucking brain. That that's not the nowhere. Where's the rest of this? I didn't react. I just said, okay, no worries, good, and went about my day. Does this mean I'm subconsciously thinking I get taken advantage of? Maybe. I just started affirming it didn't happen, continuing my self-concept, just wondering what could have made this happen out of the blue after months because you, it's the old story of you for months, for years, right? So sometimes, guys, when it plays out in your 3D, you're so shocked by it, but you've got to think, well, how long was I thinking the old shit about myself that I get used or taken advantage of or I'm not wanted or I get rejected? Oh, a long fucking time. So that's just playing out with this person. That's all it is. It's annoying, darling. Now just keep working on you and imagine he never said that or he comes back groveling like, oh, my God, I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I'm such a dick. I hope you forgive me. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lois. My self-concept leveled up so much that I feel neutral towards my SP. I'm not sure if I want him or should I still be affirming only self-concept and see if he steps up fully as someone else better comes along? Also, if I want appearance change to smooth the skin without wrinkles, a perfect body, is it better to affirm or visualize both, darling? And as you're putting the products on, tell yourself your body is so, your body is so perfect, your skin so smooth. And also visualize. Uh, what did you say at first? Leveled up so much that I feel neutral towards this pet. It's very normal. I'm not sure if I want him or not. Very normal in my group because they work on self-concept. I still affirm on self-concept and see if he steps up fully or someone else better comes along either. Either or, it doesn't. You don't have any control over when or how that's going to happen. But let me give you the tip: once you start working on your self concept, other people will step up. 
So it just naturally will happen. And then you can decide. How to stop thinking about the how to get your manifestation. You start realizing you have no control over that, Danielle, so there's literally no point. You don't, so why why bother? I need you to I need to tell an amazing story. Years ago, my friend went to Spain and moved into this house, mansion style. It belonged to a very rich people who moved out. They're so rich they have properties everywhere and they didn't even live in the house. The couple gave it to her and she moved in, but it's undocumented. She had a friend who did engineering and the plumbing. She got a whole heating and water system put in with no meter. Her heating and water is all free to her. There is big mansions on the street, one of them being hers and the other is the mayor of Barcelona's. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! Well, it's been over five years since she first moved in and the bank just handed over the keys, squatter's rights, it's all hers legally now with no issues. Oh, my God. What? Imagine being the owners and being like, oh, fuck. <laughs> or maybe they don't even care. Maybe they didn't even notice they got so much money. My God, that's amazing. She just imagined she owned it. She lived there. She took care of it as if it was her own and it became her own. She did that. By just imagining that house was hers. It wasn't theirs, it was hers. That house is hers. That house is mine. That house is mine. That man is mine. That man is mine. They're the third party. Wonderful. That's a great story. Hi, everybody. Oh, it was nearly triggered yesterday due to a few info that alters the way I see our future, but I just said, oh, it's all working out for the greatest happiness as a couple. That's great, Faith. Good. Yes. Don't let it throw you guys. Just go back to, to your affirmations. Go back into your visualization. Go back into your mind. Lois, I think you're amazing. You should take a few days off. You time. I love your lives. Oh, thank you, Rose. I really do. Both Jenna and I both need you time. And we decided that the beginning of December was you time. <laughs> uh, us time. We're like, God damn, although Jenna's about to go and help deliver a baby right now at a friend's house. Right about now. Um, my SP, who's my best friend of mine, but there is the thing. I think she's totally falling for me. Well, say that, darling. Absolutely. Decide they are. Decided to get Decide they're in love with you. I knew a firm. A new affirm, affirmation came to me today. I am a limited edition, rare as fuck, and so highly in demand. Yes, I love that. That's that's a great one. I'm a limited edition. I'm rare as fuck and so high in demand. Oh, I love that too, my McCarthy. Can I use that in a video? That's great. Love that. Where are the questions? There are no questions. I'm scrolling down. It's not a question. 89 people here, no questions. That can't be right. Uh, none of the questions? Did I miss any? What's going on here with the questions, guys? Is it still going? Yeah. Her self-concept is out of this world. We're actually arranging when the best time is to go and see her next summer probably so I get the full Spanish experience. Oh, right. so, well, that just proves that people like that who just step into the state of I deserve what I want, I get what I want, get it. They just don't question it. She's done that with that house. That's amazing. I love those kind of stories. Lois, well, I, I don't know what's been going on. Trying to figure out what the story is for this. I scheduled a man to install lights. He charged 100 last year and totally, in total, he was supposed to install. He said it had to be 175. You've got a story you get taken advantage of, Whitney, and it's just happening everywhere. I used to have people try and rip me off. Mm hmm Use it. My name is T.Y. Like, tie your shoe. Oh, tie. Oh. <laughs> what am I, fucking dyslexic? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'll make a video of that. So good. Tried to organise something for SP's birthday next week. He told me he was going for dinner with friends. Pissed me off a bit. Why? Because he's going out with friends. I felt my effort was unappreciated. Why didn't he invite me? That's just you feeling like not a priority, not appreciated, not wanted. No doubt I'll meet him at some point in the night, but I feel like I'm accepting breadcrumbs. Well, stop. What can I affirm to get him to make more of an effort? You've got to assume you're the person who gets the, made the effort for. It's not about him. Olivia, you're doing so well. Now you're fucking it. He doesn't take advantage. No one takes advantage of me because I'm chosen and special and prioritised in everyone's life, right? God damn it. Um, why are you making all this effort for his fucking birthday as well? You're doing all the overgiving and people pleasing, and then you're wondering why you got that reaction. You're so great. I'm doing everything for your birthday. Are you in a full blown relationship with him yet? Why are you doing all that? And then you wonder why you feel unappreciated. 
Then I'd look at the last week and things have been great. He surprised me at a concert, calls me multiple times a day, but I feel a bit of lack right now. Well, you were overgiving, darling, and you were doing putting him on a pedestal and making it all about him and doing your overgiving shit, and then you wonder why you get that reaction. That's why. Are you a chronic overgiver? Fucking stop that. And that comes from if I do more, they'll love me or they'll think I'm enough or they won't want other people if I do this. Stop that. Here's a question for you. Why is everyone here having such an easy time manifesting their stuff, Loz? Because they listen to me. Because <laughs> they're listening. That's why we have so much success in the group. The people who really listen, if you go and watch the Success Story Live, the Love Success Story Live, all five people listened hard to me. One of them had only ever asked me two questions on a live. The rest she was just listening and listening and doing and working on her self-concept. And every single one of them worked hardcore on their self-concept. And they all got their SPs back this year. All of them. And they're all in relationships with them. Beautiful relationships. And I only asked like a day before, has anyone got an SP success story they want to discuss on a live? And I just picked them random out of the blue. And those are the, and the stories are so inspirational. Go and watch it if you haven't seen it, guys. It's under hashtag success stories, hashtag success live in the subconscious Loz Facebook group. Don't get confused now, guys, because there's two groups. If you haven't joined my Facebook group before, just remember the squad, you can't join just by going to the squad. You've got to join via my website, it's $35. The subconscious Loz group is free because a lot of people are finding this one, trying to join that one. You can't. That's the monthly coaching group. You can only go through the website and then through the link, okay? But the Success Story Live is in the free group. How can I manifest for my mum to be pain-free? She's waiting for a hip replacement and in terrible pain. She's not in terrible pain anymore. I remember when her hip was so sore. I remember when she was in so much pain. She feels such relief now. She's in such, she's so pain-free. She loves being pain-free. She got that hip replacement so quickly and so easily. She feels so good. Even imagine she's gone, to go to the end and imagine her hip is well. Her hip is cured. Her hip is healed. And it will start to heal even before she has the operation. I looked for someone else and found our lawn man to do it for 150. I'm working our money and saying it doesn't matter. It's chump change I can afford, but kind of annoyed. Well, look, guys, when someone tries to take advantage, you do get kind of annoyed. But you've got to go to the end that no one does that to you anymore or you don't get overcharged for things anymore. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just the remnants of the old you win. You don't worry about it. Just manifest what you want, the outcome you want. SP's old name. What's this, Cindy? What are you talking about? What's that related to? Then I'd look at the last week. Okay. For mirror rampages, would you say I am or you are or it doesn't matter? What's up to you guys? It really doesn't matter. You're the greatest thing that ever happened to him. Who wouldn't want you? Look at you. You're so fucking amazing. You are the greatest. Or I am. It doesn't matter, guys. Whichever way you want to do it. Also saw an old SP in the audience and TV show today. Oh, really? <laughs> Hey, Loz, I've been seeing my SP's name and first three digits of his number and I'm not focused on him. I can barely care anymore because I've got tired of him. Does seeing his name mean anything? Well, only if you say it does. Mm -hmm. Only if you say it does and then you give the meaning. So decide that that means they're on their way, they're back, they're with you, they're thinking of you. Whatever meaning you want to give it, you sticky note it with the meaning. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miriam, darling, thank you. What the pussy cat? <laughs> Do you have a question? Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for the advice. You're welcome. I know. I was told earlier to stop giving as much as I do. I'm just that type of person. Not anymore, Olivia. But yes, he absolutely needs to be taken down at the pedestal. I'm doing really well. I refuse to go backwards. Guys, look, I'm an overgiver. Look how much free shit I've done for two years and then went, you know, almost broke because of it. I know what that's like. Stop that. Uh... They, were, they weren't abandoning me. I was just a selfish child. So if my sister was nice to my cousins, I get jealous. You weren't selfish, Cindy. Only want to give her me attention. Never mention this because I didn't sound like I'm not cho chosen to me yet. It sounded like more of I get attention, which is completely wrong. There's nothing wrong with saying you want attention. That means you were starved of the attention or you felt like you didn't get the attention. Little kids aren't selfish. They're literally saying, I need something. My ne Look, you've got to understand about needs and wants. When you're a child, you have actual emotional needs like attention. When they're not met, you're not being selfish. You're just saying, I need this. Little children need that. And then when they don't get it, they act out or they jump to the wrong conclusion. Like I was saying about Selma Blair saying she literally would bite people and she still does it as an adult. It's the only way she'd get attention. It's not selfish though. 
Loz, I was discharged from my last job for not meeting performance standards. Now my former employee is challenging unemployment benefits, stating they discharged me for misconduct. Oh, no, Rose. I have a hearing on Monday. Affirmations for to turn up my way. Just imagine all the income in your bank from the unemployment. Imagine celebrating with your friends. Imagine clinking glasses. Oh, fuck that old job. They were such fucking assholes. I fucking won that case. I won that so easily. What a bunch of see you next Tuesdays. Of course I got my money. Of course I left. I had to leave because of um, I wasn't. I didn't do any misconduct. Those people are lying. I, I'm always believed. I get everything I want. Mm-hmm. Imagine celebrating it, or imagine they drop it. Whatever it is, imagine you go to the end, you get what you want. Turns out, feels like I'm scraping snow off my driveway when I work on your course. Oh, what? Because it feels a lot of work. <laughs> no, darling. Jamie, I am the one who's had massive success by mostly listening. I've also had a few questions, but mostly just listened hardcore. Yes, Jamie, you have. Jamie's had major success in our group, major with her SP. And I remember the whole story. Wonderful job. I focus on my self-concept and listen to laws all year. It hasn't always been easy, but I'm committed to having it all because I deserve it, and so do you, my friend. Yes, that's great, Ty. I've attended every live possible, binge watched every video, and religiously listened to sleep tapes. Loz is the real deal and the real OG. Oh, Jamie, thank you, darling. <laughs> Guys, those who do the work get the results. It's just like a diet or a workout or working hard in a business. I know it. For as a manifestation coach, you shouldn't say work hard, <laughs> but you've got to put in the time to saturate your thoughts, saturate your mind. That's the work. That's all it is. I'm very grateful to you for changing my entire life when I was ready to give it all up. You're my literal angel. Oh, Jamie. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to screenshot that so nice. Just downloaded your free mini course. So excited. Oh, do that, darling. Yes, it's at subconsciouslaws.com, my video and ebook. Uh, what's something to combat overgiving and people pleasing? Affirmations. I don't know if I'm saying them right. I also. Think I'm doing things wrong clearly. No, 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 darling. First of all, there's the problem right there that you think you do things wrong. So that's why you're overgiving and people pleasing because you feel you're not enough as you are. You feel like you do things wrong. You feel guilty or things are your fault. Therefore, you will do things to make up for that, like fix things or people please or overgive because you feel not enough as you are, which is why you're doing the overgiving and people pleasing. You understand? There's a reason for the overgiving and people pleasing. Either you watch someone in your life do it like your mum overgave. (laughs) <laughs> always a people pleaser and never said no or you associate it with your worth of not being enough so if you do enough they'll love you or you're not lovable so then if you do that they'll love you blah 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 or you just feel not enough or you feel like something's wrong with you and therefore you make up for it by overgiving. so stop that so start working on I'm not wrong I don't do things wrong there's nothing wrong with me I am more than enough I'm enough as I am and I don't need to do anything to make anyone love me say that plus the other things you said like, I don't know, forgive all people, please. Anymore. A guy at work stole my hashtag for a number from the company computer and texted me a dick pic. Oh, no. What? He's threatening me because he got fired and I filed a police report. He still works at my other job. How do I make him go away? Oh, no, he's threatening you because you told on him and now he's saying he got fired because of it's all because of you. Just decide that guy is a nothing, a nothing burger in your life, darling. He just disappeared and he doesn't bother you anymore. And that's just a story, a funny story you tell people. Scripted as if you look back on that guy, the dick pic guy. Remember him? Oh, he was such a fucking knob. He just disappeared. I don't know where he went. Mm-hmm. And just decide you get your own way and everyone listens to you and you're believed and no one hassles you, right? I mean, like crapping a lot of thoughts off my brain to get what I want. Oh, okay. Scraping a lot of thoughts off your brain, yes. Sorry if the question might be stupid. I've known, no, don't, no, don't worry about that, darling. I've known LOA for years, but I do need to affirm if daily thinking and assumptions are favourable. Never actually affirmed before, only worked on assumptions with ease. I'm scared I'm missing out on something. What do you mean you've never done affirmations before? So you've just naturally assumed. Okay, well, if you naturally assume you don't need to affirm, then don't. I'm not telling you you have to affirm. But is everything working out? Guys, some of you go, Hey, I know what I'm doing, but nothing's changed. <laughs> well, is it working? That's what I'd ask you. Can you see my comment? Not sure if it's working. Oh, no, no. Did I miss it? Did I miss a whole lot of comments, did I? 
God damn it. Oh, hang on. Here we go. I've saw a few. I've missed a few here. I haven't, can't see yours now, though. Got to go. My SP just texted me from New York City. She's taking her son to see Billy Joel at Madison Square tomorrow night. Oh, how cool. What can I affirm or flip to do the opposite or do I just continue regular new running thoughts? Yes, Whitney, but also no one takes advantage of you. That's the old you. No one uses me, things like that. I don't need to ask questions. Everyone else asks questions that are generally in line with what I want to know. Oh, really, Yanni? Yeah. I used to ask questions on lives just to reiterate what I already knew and then it looked like I didn't know what I was talking about even though I'd be in like the self-concept community over there answering questions on other people's lives that had lives. I would ask questions and after, after a while I was like, why am I doing this? But I know that that comes from my self-concept feeling like I do things wrong or I just need to get it right. And when I was at drama school, I remember I used to ask so many questions of things. That people, I, I used to drive my classmates nuts because they just wanted to go to lunch. I'd be like, one more thing, one more thing. Just so I've got to get it right. I've got to get it right. That's what some of the questioning is sometimes. That's what I used to do. Um, hang on, where am I? I can't see a thing there. Right again. It's like only daily thinking. Guys, affirmation is just thinking. It's not a chore. So for anything we see or experience in the 3D we don't like, I simply reject it and choose how I want it to be in my mind. Yes. I do that repeatedly, repetitively for anything and stay disciplined in my mind. Yes. You just turn your attention away from the obstacle, right? Like when my cat went missing, I wasn't just concentrating on she's missing, but my mind was for a while. So I had to concentrate on, no, she's here. No, she's back. No, she's in the kitchen lapping up her milk no she's sitting here on the sofa no she's in my arms no I'm stroking her no she's here of course she's here I had to turn my attention away from what was going on things are working out yes Loz I've been staying on top of my mental diet but it has been long what happened was that I corrected my thoughts but something keeps popping up in my 3d and I forget that I'm supposed to ignore it well, accept it then if you can't ignore it. Guys, a lot of you can't ignore things. Like the big elephant in the room. Well, don't accept it and go, oh, look at this shit circumstance that I created with my mind. How did I do that? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was thinking that before. Oh, well, it's here. It'll go away. Mm -hmm. Loz, if he doesn't reach out and it's always me and breadcrumbs or ghosts, will self-concept fix this? Self-concept is causing it, Rose. Causing it. The fact that you feel like you need to reach out is because you feel like he doesn't love you or you're not lovable. It's all about your self-concept. You feel like he breadcrumbs and ghosts. You feel like you're always going to get rejected or it's going to be hot and cold or things don't work out for you or relationships never work out. It's all you. Self-concept is causing it, Rose. Go and get my free ebook. You're fucking lost. Guys, it's everything. It's causing their behaviour. Fuck. Why do you think we get so much success in my group? Because they're not listening to dumb coaches anymore who just say, do SP affirmations. SP, 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 SP. Fucking that's nothing to do with them. If you are the only cause and I am is what manifests, what the fuck's it got to do with them? What are some good affirmations if I don't feel good enough? Like my SP has a good family, my mum has no teeth and lives in the government and diagnoses six mental health issues. <laughs> What's going on here, Darcy? <laughs> Let me read this again. What are good affirmations if I don't feel good enough? Like my SP has a good family, my mum has no teeth and lives off the government and diagnosed with six mental health issues, I feel like no one will love me because of my family. It doesn't matter that your mum's got no teeth. Who fucking cares, Darcy? You, you are ashamed of that and think that's a problem. Because of your assumption about her and about your circumstances and her circumstances, you think that. You're associating poverty or living off the government with bad things. It's not a bad thing. Stop thinking of it as bad. I also have a lot of family members addicted to drugs. SPS took their kids or CPS took their kids. And half my family has spent time in jail, but my SP came from a well-off family. Okay, so you've decided that because they're well-off and your family aren't and they've got all this history that you aren't good enough for him. That's bullshit. Get rid of that story. I also have family that ask me for money all the time. They literally just live off the government and ask me for money. I don't know what my childhood, what in my childhood could make me think this as. Where's the rest? Well, obviously your childhood was full of that, darling, full of users, full of people who just scrimped and saved and used up the government and used the government's money and were 
like that. So you've got to see your family completely differently and see yourself as disassociated from any of that life. Okay, that's what happened to me and that's what my childhood was like and that's what the people in my family were like, but they're not like that anymore and they don't ask me for things and they don't use me and they're not users and they start getting jobs and doing things and feel proud of themselves and worthy and they aren't people who just sponge off the government and they get their mental health issues in check and they're not mental and they aren't users and they aren't drug addicts and they're not addicted to anything. They're perfect. They're mentally perfect. They're mentally thriving, all of them. And because of that, their lives get better, but I'm not going to associate with them and associate myself with them and have any less self-worth because of them. That's just their story. That's them. That's got nothing to do with me. And I'm not going to be ashamed of my past or ashamed of my family. I'm going to know that I'm me and anyone's going to love me for me, Darcy. Yep, same. I asked to make sure I'm doing things right to confirm that I'm on the right track. Oh, guys, my constant I do things wrong thing was why I used to ask so many questions. Like anyone who used to be on the lives that I was in would probably be shocked that I'm a manifestation coach because I'd be like, she used to ask so many questions in the lives where the people from the self-concept community would be like, oh, we used to DM her all the time with with questions. But other people on other things that I, like if I asked a question on a live, they'd probably be like, what's she doing coaching? <laughs> because I questioned a lot. I sounded like I didn't know. Um, I rewrote a few things about his piece. So I made six hardcore core affirmations about him that I say twice a day or on my bathroom breaks and in work and say in the mirror, I'm chosen, I prioritize. This is too much. No, that's great, Olivia. Guys, look, if you're focusing on them a lot anyway in your mind and you have to do six core affirmations and you have to do them when you're sitting on the toilet, do it. I like not Guys, I say 80% because I just want you guys to start focusing on your self-concept because you're the problem. But if you're fucking so obsessed with them that you can't stop thinking about them, then do those. But what I really need you to understand is your overgiving stuff, Olivia, has nothing to do with him, does it? The feeling other people are a threat have nothing has nothing to do with him, does it? So you can fucking all do SP affirmations in the mirror or on the toilet to the cows fucking come home, but it won't make any difference because you're still going to be a people pleaser. You're still going to be overgiving. You're still going to be thinking you're not good enough. You're still going to be putting him on the pedestal. You're literally putting him on the pedestal by affirming about him all fucking day. So, yeah, it's okay, but you're fucking spending most of the time changing you. Do you want to be a success story, Olivia, and be on my next live telling me all about your success story or you want to be a fucking failure between now and then? You wanted to be on the live. It's not about him. It's not about him. It's not about him. Write that down on the fucking mirror every day. Most of my affirmations are about me throughout the day, but just morning and night for him. Okay, fine. Well. It's Melissa. I came back to watch the rest of your live. Also, my friend recently got taken out of my friend group because she betrayed one of us and she has bad self-concept and anxiety, but I know this was... Would never happen to me because I'm best friends with the person who has the most control in our group, but I'm also telling myself it's because I'm loved and chosen. Yeah, well, just decide she's with your group. She's lovely to you all. She would never betray you or you're still friends if that's what you want, darling. Is that what you're saying? Hang on. Water all over my face. Wow, hit home. Good. Do I revise it or affirm that my SP loves me regardless? You revise your whole childhood if you can, darling, and you revise that you're ashamed of your family. Or you stop thinking shameful thoughts about your family. You start saying, it doesn't matter that my family are broke. It doesn't matter that some of the radics, I'm seeing them differently and my SP loves me just the way I am and this has no influence over my life or any or what people think of me. I'm stopping associating that with the rest. My mum used to carry that her whole life, that she grew up poor and everyone was going to see her as poor and she spent her whole life spending money on credit cards and doing stupid shit to prove that she wasn't that girl she grew up as and it ruined her fucking life. And she used to tell me, oh, it has no effect on me and I used to think, bitch, it's playing out in every fucking thing you do because you're ashamed of the way you grew up and then she would overgive and do a whole lot of shit because she didn't feel enough as she was even when she made it she still didn't feel like she did I feel bad even saying that but it really influenced her mind for the rest of her life hey where am I 
Loz, you make me laugh. I love how you stand your ground and will put people in their place. <laughs> Guys, I've been doing this for so long, I'm just sick of repeating myself. Hey, Loz, I just came to know about your channel and you literally had me in tears. Out of all the coaches I'm watching for the first time, your videos clicked for me. I can't believe I wasted so many months. Oh, darling. I found you early. I wish I'd found you earlier. I would not have gone through all I have and had a dream life. And we're both in Perth. Oh, you're in Perth too, darling. Well, just imagine you know now. Like, I'm 45, darling. I wish I knew this before I was in my 40s. I didn't. I wish I did. Well, I was learning it and thought I understood it for years, probably 20 years, but I didn't really get it. You know, I discovered the secret when it came out. The book came out. I still didn't really realize what the fuck I was doing. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, darling. You know now. That's great. Uh, I mean, should I affirm just for the move to Melbourne and a new car or that, or I make a lot of money? Well, imagine yourself driving the car. Imagine yourself in the new house. Imagine yourself living in Melbourne. Imagine going and having coffee and wearing jackets and shitty weather and lots of wogs. Whatever Melbourne would be for you, right? Imagine living there. Imagine walking the streets and being a Melbourneite. You know what I mean? Then imagine driving through Melbourne doing that weird thing where you can pull out the traffic and turn right when the, the lights are off, are red. <laughs> they can't do that. Mm -hmm. And the money. Um, um, um. Laws, my dad used to say to my friends, why would you be friends with a girl like her, how miserable she is, and would send pictures of my dirty room to my boyfriends and ask them why they would be with a girl like me. Oh, your dad sounds delightful. So now when my SP fell in love with me this summer, my inner voice screamed, liar, he would never be with you, so I destroyed our relationship. Where do I go from here? Wow, your dad's a piece of work, Katie. Fuck me. You really need to get that thinking out of your mind that your dad even would do that to you. Was that his way of disciplining you or something and making you clean your room? What the fuck was wrong with your dad? Did he have an asshole parent or something and did that to him? What the fuck's going on there? Go back and revise that. Go write a letter to your dad telling you him all the things that you wish he hadn't done and the, what he you wish he hadn't said and imagine him sitting in front of you and read the letter out and get all your fucking feelings out and then decide okay that's the old me and no one thinks that about me anymore and that's just thoughts you put in my brain and I'm not going to think those thoughts anymore and no one in my reality thinks those thoughts about me I'm the new me and everyone loves me just the way I am and of course he loves me for who I am that's just shit you put in my brain and every time that pops in my brain I'm going to yell shut up dad no one fucking thinks that about me that's just your crap from your childhood you had trauma in your childhood it's got fucking nothing to do with me that's what I'd be doing I used to hear all the time that you don't marry the person, you marry their family as well. So I've also been told that no one from a good family would ever want someone from a bad one. Well, just Darcy, you've decided you've come from a bad one, so you've fucked it in your brain, haven't you? So you've decided that that's true and that's true. So you've come from one and the statement you heard is true, so you're fucked. So are you going to decide that that's not fucking true or what? You're just going to let that whole thing, that statement you heard, just ruin your fucking life because you're so ashamed of your past? So what? Lots of people grew up poor. Lots of people are millionaires now who are poor. They don't walk around going, oh, no one's going to want me because I grew up poor. David Beckham grew up in fucking Leighton, uh, not Leightonstone. Where'd he grow up? Um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Walthamstow. That's a fucking shithole. Do you think he sits around in his mansion in London going, oh, I'm not worthy of this. No one's going to love me. No one's going to love me as a footballer because I grew up poor. He's like, I fucking deserve this. I'm the greatest footballer that ever lived. Look at me. Of course Victoria loves me. Why wouldn't she? She's posh and I was poor. It doesn't matter that she was posh and I was Bex and I was from the poor back end of fucking shitty part of London. He didn't care. You fucking care. He didn't become a success because he clung on to his poor childhood in Walthamstow. I'm just using that as an example because she wasn't like that. Right? Are you Bex or are you... Who are you? In this scenario, who are you? Because you've got to decide. Yeah, okay, that's how I grew up, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't determine my worth. It doesn't determine what happens to me now. It doesn't determine what someone thinks of me. Most of my affirmations are about me throughout the day. Oh, good. Hi, Megan. Hopping on late. My best friend surprised me. With so many birthday gifts on my birthday, which isn't even until Friday. Oh, I birthday Friday, darling. I'm scared to think of the amount of money she spent on me. Oh, no, darling, just say that's great. I love having money spent on me. Telling myself Friday SP will be spawning me next and I'm going to have the best birthday ever. Oh, wonderful. 
And another thing, the new SP said he's hooked. Oh, really, Dad, he's hooked? Is that what you're going to say? I missed it. These lives are so useful. Thank you for doing this. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Can you explain how creation is already complete, how anything you desire already exists in its own reality now? I know Neville talked about many mansions, but can you explain easy to understand? Well, it's kind of like that. There are many mansions, and when you have thought of it, I'll make a place for you, and I'll come back, and it'll be there. You've kind of got to think of it like this. That it already or like it already exists, you just can't see it yet. That's the way I look at it. So you can either be in an alternate universe or, or reality where you're rich or you're poor. Both states exist, but which one are you choosing to acknowledge, choosing to be aware of? So all conscious manifestation is is becoming consciously aware of the reality you want to exist in either the rich one or the poor one, or whichever one I said was which. So if you decide to remain in the poor reality, you'll remain there because that's what you're constantly aware of. Oh, I have no money, bills coming in, my mortgage is late, la, 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 the economy, inflation, la, la, la. I have more than enough money. I have money filling up my bank account. My mortgage is always paid on time. Inflation doesn't affect me. It affects everyone else. But fooey to me, it doesn't matter to me. It's what you become aware of. And then you'll be in that state, in that reality, but this one could exist at any moment because at any moment you could stop thinking these thoughts, start thinking these thoughts and go boop, back to there. Anyone at any moment could become homeless just because their shitty thoughts about themselves cause a situation where they suddenly become homeless. They just go from this state to this state. Aren't they the same person? They've just changed states. But the reality of them being poor once and rich once probably already existed. They just didn't, they did exist, so they just didn't realise it. That's kind of the way I, in my non-quantum physicist way, can explain it. Because mm -hmm. if the world is simply a hologram and a reflection of your thinking, aren't you just stepping into the reality that you choose to think? That's what we've got to think here. Feel so blessed finding you lost. Oh, Ella, I just love you and your channel and your Facebook page. Thank you for everything you do. Oh, thank you, eh? Oh, so, guys, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, come join because that's Success Live. Go and watch it. It's so great. And the success stories. Hi, Loz. I'm trying to figure out the best way to rewrite my story in relation to my SP and self-concept in relation to my SP. Do I just live in the end that I desire with him or rewrite the bad story? You can rewrite the bad story and think new story thoughts about the new story or you can just go to the end. It's up to you how you do it. You don't have to relive the old story if you don't want to. Okay, but also work on your self-concept most of all. I suspect I have a story that my self-concept is going to be a huge lift or huge transformation to change, or I have a story I have to think I'm extremely cool to get what I want. What's the question, Francisco? Oh, you have a story that you have to be extremely cool to get what you want or that it's going to be a huge thing to have to change your self-concept. No, you could change like that. You just step into the new state of you like that if you want to, but you're thinking it's this big, long, winding road and you're going to have to get to the end of cool to get whatever you want. Get rid of that assumption. Katie, oh, my God, my mum used to do this. Oh, Jen has just sent me a success story of her own. Oh, lovely. Um, hang on. Katie, oh, my God, my mum used to think this as well. She would tell my ex, oh, wow, Jenna, she's sending me all these success stories on WhatsApp. Um, I would repeat them, but I can't remember what the first one said. Uh, can you affirm for another person to help them? I have a, Yeah, I do it all the time. I have a friend who gets taken advantage of, so I want to affirm for him, or is it the my self-concept I'm seeing him as being taken advantage of? You're seeing him as taken advantage of, but also you've got to decide that no one does that to him anymore. So my old SP used to get taken advantage of all the time and I decided he was like Iron Man and I used to send him, this sounds silly, but I used to send him like Iron Man memes and stuff and describe him like that, right? And that's the way I saw him and he started seeing himself that way and he just became like that and after a while he just wouldn't answer his ex-wife's calls or wouldn't, didn't get walked all over anymore money-wise and he just changed because I saw him differently. Mm -hmm. See them differently. See for the blind man. Affirm that they aren't like that anymore. They used to get taken advantage of. They never, no one would dare do that to them anymore. So that. There is no comment about the ex-husband. Oh, good question. What do I, oh, oh, oh. There is no comment about the ex-husband. So it was something about your ex-husband and I can't see it. Oh, no, no. Good question at Cutie Pie Videos. What was the question? Did I miss it? 
Uh, hey, Laws, SP has still got third party, but has recently started talking to me again. Keep working on self-concept. Should the new... Would the new Obsession course help? Yes, it would. Guys, the first part of the course is already in the group, in guides. It's in the guides section, and it's all about stepping into your manifestation power. The second part is about stepping into feeling yourself, your self-concept, and the third part's about SP. So you really need to work on those other two, so go and do that. If there's a third party, you really need to work on those, feeling like you have the power to take her away and feeling like you're enough to be wanted by him. Go and do it. It's only 35 bucks, guys. Laws, I started OnlyFans and have made close to $3 million. What, Katie? <laughs> Holy shit. My SP is a professional athlete and I'm scared he won't date me because it would be bad press and that his family won't approve of me. No, darling. Decide he'd be proud of you and he thinks it's so amazing, like Anna Paul's boyfriend. Have you ever seen him? He's not walking around going, oh, my God, my girlfriend makes millions of dollars from money pounds. How is she? I'm ashamed of her. He goes, oh, my God, my girlfriend's Anna Paul. That's amazing, Katie. Be proud of yourself and be proud of it. If you are ashamed of it, he will be too. If you decide that he's going to love it and show you off and show his friends and be like, oh, my God, this is my girlfriend. She is so fucking amazing. Look at her. She's a semi-celebrity on OnlyFans. Look at her. Look how much money she makes. She makes more than me. Imagine he's going to be proud of it. It's your shame about it that's caught, that will cause him to not like it. Decide he shows you off. Decide he's proud of you. Decide he tells everyone, which means he isn't ashamed that he talks about it in press and he's like, oh, my girlfriend's got this OnlyFans. She made three million bucks last year. She's fucking amazing. She's killing it. Imagine him doing that in press articles. Wouldn't that mean he's proud of you? Wouldn't that mean he's not ashamed? Wouldn't that mean he didn't care? Wouldn't that mean he loves you anyway? Because it doesn't matter because it, actually it's an achievement you've done. Who cares how you earn your money? Decide he doesn't care and he loves you, loves you for that and is proud of you. Got it? Three million is tangible proof. You're the bomb. Exactly. Fucking hell. Sigh, starting an OnlyFans. <laughs> Guys, exactly. Fucking hell. Yeah. That's amazing, Katie. Uh, damn, exactly. Loz, my sister got into a bad car crash and lost her car. Did you manifest that or she did? Did you? Did I manifest that? Well, only if you're thinking she'd get into one, darling, but no, she probably was thinking bad things about her car or about traffic or about life or I almost manifested one of those once by saying, oh, if I got in one, then I could get more insurance money and the next day I almost got written off the road. To be honest, if I saw a professional athlete and his girlfriend did only fans, I would think they must be a rich, luxurious couple. Exactly, a power couple. See yourselves as a power couple, darling. Exactly, that's a great idea, Cindy. Wonderful. Hey, Lawrence, what's your opinion of persist until it hardens into fact? That's what we're doing here. Um, as in when it comes into the 3D or fact as in when it becomes a belief, fact in your mind. No, no, no. It doesn't have to become a belief. You have no control over whether it becomes a belief. You just persist until it shows up. That's it. Persist until it hardens into fact. It doesn't have the element of belief inside it, right? He's not saying persist until you believe it and then it will harden into fact. He's just saying persist until it hardens into fact, which is why a lot of people get the belief part wrong. Neville said, Neville said you have to 100% believe everything that's going to manifest. That's bullshit. You have no control over when belief occurs. I'm back from texting with my SP. Would it be too much trouble to repeat everything you said while I was gone? Darling, watch the replay. I don't even remember what I said. Um, three mil is tangible proof. Yes. Yes, power couple. Yes. Any advice for coming off antidepressants? I feel so vulnerable. Well, darling, say you don't have to take them anymore. Say you love not taking them. Say you're, you're mentally thriving and you don't need them. Mm-hmm. Right behind you, <laughs> manifesting a body made for OnlyFans. <laughs> well, I think lots of bodies can be made for OnlyFans, couldn't they? I mean, there's fans of everything around. You could just have an OnlyFans for feet, to put your feet on there. Like, I'm not joking. When I used to have an eBay store, I had a couple of people request that I've tried the shoes on, and I was stupid, and a couple of times I sent photos of my foot in the shoe, and then I realized I was sending my photo to foot fetishists. You know you can't sell smelly old – you can't sell secondhand shoes on, on eBay and put the words smelly – used um a lot or um well used worn in smells like sweat smells like sweaty feet you can't actually use those words on ebay because there are so many foot fetishes wanting stinky shoes so don't tell me there's not only fans for feet i'm not joking i've just thought of it that's a fucking genius idea <laughs> someone do it you would never have to show your face 
waiting for someone to come back to the next line. They started a foot finish and they've earned three million. Mm-hmm. Foot finish only fans. No beat picks for free. No, exactly. Oh my god, I did do do I did totally do only fans for feet. Really? I t- oh, you totally do it. I thought you did. You did, guys. I swear to the, I swear. To the, no way. I have so many old shoes to sell, and my feet can definitely make me three million. <laughs> There's feet Tinder too, guys. Is there? It's called Feet Finder. Ew, Feet Finder. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> that's so gross i already tried that lol oh did you oh no i would not show my face <laughs> i tried any fans of feet but my id got rejected oh no really so you have to show your face oh why did i come in for feet <laughs> yeah. talking about someone just made three million for money fans in the chat we're just talking about only fans of feet jen i put your success story you just wrote me in the whatsapp in here Caught you live, yes, feet fans. <laughs> feet. It's only feet. Only feet. Someone needs to start an only feet. Why has someone not done that? There's a multi-million dollar right idea right there. <laughs> only feet. And you, no one has to show their face, and it's only feet. And no one can show their face. It's only feet. Seriously. A bit of paint in that. That's a fucking genius idea. Hi, Laws. I'm feeling a bit left out of my friends group at the moment and not being invited to things. I have a fear of abandonment. Could you please give me any affirmations, please? Thank you so much. Much love to you. It might not be a fear of abandonment. It might just be a fear that you don't get included and you're not enough as you are and you're not good enough, darling, and you get rejected easily and so you get ghosted and not invited to things. It's more a not good enough feeling, not abandonment necessarily, but it could be abandonment. Depends what happened to you as a kid. I get invited to everything. I'm everyone's favorite person because I'm more than enough and they love me as I am and I don't do things wrong and no one rejects me anymore. Mm -hmm. Also, someone created a video on TikTok about SP saying he was dead and now someone created a fake Tinder profile for me. How do I revise this? What? About SP saying he was dead and now someone created a fake Tinder profile for me. I don't understand that, Priyanka. I'm really confused. Right again, Priyanka, what, what's the actual problem? I'm really confused by that. Yes, that's what my OF was called, Only Feet, until my idea was rejected. No, it was called Only Feet. I, oh, no. Short, try again. Decide that you – manifest that they allow Only Feet. Ma- manifest that they do. So my little assistant here, my work experience girl, she had a TikTok that had 50,000 people and because she was 13 at the time – oh, sorry, she was 14. I thought she was 13. They took it away from her. I keep saying manifest it back, but she – she keeps thinking she has to do something. Just imagine it back. Imagine your only feet account. I want SP to prioritise me, but he's always saying he's busy working. I don't want him to work also, so I don't know what to offer. Well, it's your thinking that you're not prioritised. It's a problem, not his work situation. They will find something to prioritise when you feel not prioritised. It's you thinking that. So I manifested for my old SP's dad. I wanted this year to be a huge turnaround for him. Old SP is an only child and he only has his dad and I love his dad too. Yes, this is Jenna's success story. He has better health now and not on meds. He just got over 28K in free money. He has his whole house fixed for free, was paid for it, was paid for it not having been fixed too. Oh, my God. Amazing. You did that, Jenna. Lois Hunt, I'm not sure, but I think they prefer unaware or unwilling feet picks and socks. They also used to ask me on the street for my socks. Unaware or unwilling. Oh, that you're not aware that you're doing that. Ah, is that what you're saying? You used to ask me on the street for your socks. But is he dead? Question mark. Well, I don't understand what people are talking about here. I'm really confused. There are literally sites where you can sell used underwear and socks and stuff like that. What about hands? I don't think people have a hand fetish as much as a foot fetish for some bizarre reason. Although maybe they do. Maybe there must be people with hand fetishes. Thank you. Oh, my God. Persist until my only feet hardens into fact. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Not sure who is targeting SP and I. Had a guy in between break up with SP and the other guy hated the fact that I left. Now some profile created a video saying RSP to my SP. Oh, okay. And a folk profile of me on Tinder. So just to say that guy goes away, he's just some weirdo and he disappears and he knows he looks like a dick doing that and you know it's him and it just disappears and the whole thing just magically disappears. The whole problem magically goes away. 
Imagine telling your SP and going, oh, it's not even there anymore. I don't know where the account is. I look for it, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Wow, Jenna. Yes, exactly. Now my old SP doesn't feel like he has to give him money anymore. Lol, I did see what I need. I, I did see what I need to adjust. I said it would be like no big deal. So his dad is acting as if it's like no big deal. Oh, wonderful. Back in January, his dad would have been shocked by only 500. Wow. So now he's acting like all this money is no big deal. Oh, you did that, Jenna. That's great. There are definitely people out there with hand finishes, yes. Travis Barker. I was going to say, Travis Barker loves Courtney's feet. There's so many pictures of her feet in the video. In the... Those two are funny. The PDA is just so off-putting. Um, feet makes more sense than smoking does. <laughs> um, I'll never meet a man with a foot fetish, yes. I know. So I've met someone with a foot fetish. I, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be like, ah, I'm not really into that. So I like to stick to two affirmations and I stick with I am loved and chosen and SP is always texting me, caused my biggest fear was him not choosing me and leaving me. So I like stick to two affirmations and I stick with I am loved and chosen and SP is always texting me, yes, you can do that because my biggest fear was him not choosing me and leaving me. Yes, but but really work on your self-concept, darling, more, more affirmations that about your self-concept. Um, I realise I don't actually hate my body. I asked this about this in the morning. I was just emotional because I started my monthly. I'm fine. Oh, good, darling. I'm studying psychology and feet fetish is the most common fetish because gender Taylor and feet are close together in the brain. Oh, is that what it is? My hands are closer than my feet are. <laughs> I want my hands down. But okay. Uh, when I ended things with SP over summer, like a triggered bitch because of his dad, dad's mean comments in my head, because of dad's mean comments in my head, I was hanging out with another athlete as a friend. A blog post started saying we were dating. And my SP found out and deleted me off socials, unliked all my pictures because he thought I left him for another football player. Oh, okay. I want to fix this now. So imagine he, he knows that that wasn't true and to see you and him together. So if you back together, wouldn't that all have been untrue or he believed you or something? Go to the end. Don't worry about the middle. Lol, TikTok's algorithm knows I like hands, but they take it too far. Oh, really, Jenna? Oh, my God. This live. <laughs> What's this? Nicole, for the overgivers, I am an amazing and incredible woman. There is nothing I have to do to earn love. I am and always have been enough. Yes, that's wonderful, Nicole. I love that. Yes. I agree. That's a really good one. I'm going to screenshot that. Common knowledge that through thought transmission is real. How do we differentiate thoughts that belong to us versus the ones that are transmitted? No, no, no. They're not transmitting any to you. They are in their reality. You've got to understand everyone's in their own separate reality. That's the only way it could work. Otherwise, their thoughts are going this way. Your thoughts are going that way. Their thoughts are going to you. The whole thing's like this. It doesn't work. It's only from your brain to theirs in your reality. Over in theirs, they're sending thoughts to you. You understand? Is the title of this live book finish? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> I'll write that down. Uh, so I pr firmly prioritises me over work and he'll eventually do so. No, Cassandra. Did you hear what I fucking said? I said you have to say you're a priority. You're still focusing on him. Yeah, say that all you fucking like. But you've got to say that you're the priority in life. You, you, this is about you. And he eventually will. No, he eventually won't. No, he won't because you're still talking about him. Fuck, I give up sometimes. Also, SP keeps saying that I'm not showing up for him properly. He gives me royal treatment and I don't do the same for him. He has kidney disease as well as according to him. What? Doesn't believe, believe he does, doesn't. So I believe he doesn't. So if everyone's you pushed out, what's really going on here? Do you think because you're doing manifestation thoughts or different thinking that he won't like it or feel unappreciated or feel like you don't care about him? It's your thinking that's causing him to say that shit. What are you thinking in your mind that's causing that to come out of his fucking mouth? Well, do you recommend listening to Neville even though I listen to you loads? Oh, my God, guys, you should all be listening to Neville. Absolutely. I still do. If a Neville thing pops up on my um, YouTube, I'll listen to it just to refresh my memory. Not all the time, but occasionally. I was listening to some yesterday that popped up on YouTube shorts. Uh, thanks, Nicole. Thank you for this. I needed you. Had the worst anxiety. Well, Trenka, stop thinking shitty thoughts. My SP asked me for my uni schedule to meet up after three months of not seeing each other, told me you're so sexy, he was leaning on my lap and trying to take my glasses to make me laugh. Oh, Nicole, I love that. This life took a weird turn, but I'm here for it. <laughs> 
think I brought it up. It was my fault. I have always been put first. I'm always made the priority because I am too damn special and important not to be. See, they're about you. I'm in South Africa, by the way. It's 5 a.m. Couldn't really say that well. Oh, darling, you're on my kind of time. The last couple of nights, I thank God I had a full night's sleep last night because the last couple of nights I had like four hours sleep because I wake up at like 4 a.m. Imagine someone finds your notebook and all they see is foot finish video title. <laughs> I wonder if you could do a manifesting video for good feet and see what the algorithm does with that. Except my feet look terrible at the moment, so I'm going to put my feet on the. I need my my um toes done. Maybe when I do my toes. <laughs> see what happens. I love Neville's voice. He sounds so bold when he speaks about his stuff. It gives me goosebumps sometimes. I love him. He's just so confident. Sometimes I used to listen to him and think, "Oh my god, the confidence of this man!" But now I feel like that in life. Like he used to be like, "This isn't charity. Take that away." <laughs> with a waiter or something if they spilt the soup. What is this, Janet? Take that away. <laughs> oh, my God. Who speaks like that? You are enough and your feet are enough too. <laughs> I don't know what's what. my feet on TikTok right now. Trust me. Loz is taking one for the team. <laughs> you can see what happens. I don't want to go to work today. Oh, no, darling. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? What are we going to call this live? Foot fetishes. <laughs> uh, being prioritised by SP. That would be a good one. Ties or ashamed of your past. That would be a good one. Ashamed of your past. I've got to start putting the titles back on these guys. I've, I've run out of time of retitling them and I keep forgetting. Abandoned. Uh, ashamed of your past. Mm -hmm. Name is Free Feet Picks for Clickbait. <laughs> idea making millions off only fans yes actually that's a good one making millions off only fans yes let's do that only feet <laughs> yes let's do let's put that in I, I that's amazing um who is it who made them katie that's amazing you should be so proud of yourself darling so i want you to really step into the state of i made three fucking million from only fans i'm a goddamn genius i could have been working at mcdonald's but instead i'm this fucking smart that i did this okay katie look how proud we all are of you in here that's amazing you should be so proud of yourself that you did that mm -hmm. and then step into that and then he'll be proud too and then all that situation will go away i don't want to work anymore so i'll manifest being paid to exist that's a great idea darling um, I've been irritable lately. Not sure if it's because I created not talking to SP for three weeks. Last interaction, I spent the night and it was great. So saying old stuff with my stupid old self concept crept in. Just get rid of that, darling. I made three million last month and now I made ten million this month. Yes, say that. In that time, at the end of the day, I've been saying none of this matters. I always get what I want because then my self concept affirms. Yeah, and then your self concept affirmations. Great, when you do that, that's wonderful. I'm in the squad and still doing the course. I want this so bad, Lois. I want it all. Well. Instead of swap that out with me with want to, I have it all. I have it all. I don't want it anymore. I have it. Stop the wanting. The wanting is keeping you wanting. And then it won't manifest, will it? Let's just manifest someone pays me to get pedicures regularly. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Lois. I was scared to even put in the chat, but you guys are all so nice about it. Katie, listen to what you just said there. I was scared to even put it in the chat. That right there is the problem. Why are you scared? Why aren't you proud? Why aren't you telling everyone? Why aren't you bragging? Why aren't you telling everyone in your life that you've done that? Because you're ashamed of what you think they're going to say. You're worried about what you think they're going to say about it. You should be stepping into that. I'm so fucking smart. I'm a smart businesswoman. Do people shame actresses for doing sex scenes? No, it's part of their fucking job. Think about, I saw a podcast yesterday that I must find because I really want to listen to it um, with uh, Brittany and um, Holly Madison from the Playboy Mansion. And it was hilarious. It was talking about how stupid the Playboy Mansion was and all this lotion and shit they used to leave everywhere and how disgusting it was. And I was like, are those two girls ashamed of the fact that they were with Hef and they were at the Playboy Mansion and they were Playboy bunnies and they were on that show? No, they're, they're proud of themselves and they made a career out of it. Why can't you be like Holly Madison? Know what I'm saying? You're not. 
you're being like a girl who goes, I was in Playboy once, I'm so ashamed of it, and I don't show my family, and I hid the Playboy edition, and I'm so ashamed. Be like those girls. They've got a whole fucking podcast talking about it. And the world doesn't look on them and go, oh, Holly Madison, she's stupid. They go, we love Holly Madison. She's great. She was even in Chicago and stuff. She got married to a beautiful man and had a baby. I think it's a bit up now. But you know what I mean? Katie, that's about you. Stop that thinking immediately. You need to be proud of yourself, darling. This is safe space as long as you don't say signs and law of attraction log. Yes, guys, you can say anything here if I'm going to judge you. Um, setting intention or we should stick to affirming. Well, you can set an intention, but that's kind of like it's in the future. I don't really like intentions. I like living in the end, but do that if you want. My self-concept has been reflected in my 3D very well lately and I'm already feeling empowered. Today was my SP's birthday, but just focus on me for the most of the day and almost forgot. Well, that's good you almost forgot. That's wonderful, darling. Yes, focus on you, focus on you, focus on you. Take the pedestal down, even on their birthday. That, thanks as always, Lois, you'll be glad to hear. I spent the money I put aside for SP's birthday on myself for Botox and my nails. Oh, wonderful, darling. I need to do that. I work hard enough for my money and it'll be spent on me. Oh, wonderful. I can't wait to go and get Botox. I'm looking forward to it. Um. I've never done it. I won't be scared. I'm really scared of needles. I won't be scared. I love needles. I love Botox. Botox suits me so well. <laughs> Hello, Lozo. I saw the one. Be proud of OnlyFans even if you regret it. You've lived and learned and laughed all the way to the bank. Exactly. But you don't have to regret it. What? Be proud, darling. Be like Holly, Holly Madison, like Brittany. What's her face? Is it Brittany? Your name is Brittany, isn't it? The other blonde one. It was my first time and honestly, it didn't hurt. I hate needles too. Oh, really? Didn't hurt. Okay, good. I just want to get rid of this thing. I'll affirm it away. It goes away. Uh, any more questions, guys? Otherwise, I'm going to go. Buy a big house so no more dirty room problems. Yes, do that. Uh, Bridget, Kendra and Holly. Yeah, well, Kendra's life kind of went down the toilet a little bit with Hank, didn't it? But the rest of them did went well. Although Kendra's probably good now. She just had a terrible mother. Remember her mother? Like you watch that show and you realise why Kendra was the messed up one. You like saw her family and went, well, there you go. I met Holly and Kendra before. Oh, really? So, Katie, be like those girls. Be proud of yourself, please. Kendra works in real estate now. Oh, does she? I like her. Um, I'm glowing and obsessed with it now. Good. Have you seen one of the paintings that were created long ago? Those women had no issues with their tatas out for hours to be painted. Look, exactly. Think about the Botticelli's um, Venus and stuff. She's standing in a shell and she's like this. Think about people who go and do um, life drawing. They sit there naked. I went, my um, old best mate had life drawing a guy with his cock out. We were doing life drawing and people were giggling and la, la, la. He, that's his job. He wasn't going, oh, my God, I do life drawing classes for a living. I'm so ashamed of myself. Bet you he wasn't making three million bucks. Katie, you should be so proud of yourself, honestly, darling. Take that three million and fucking show it off to everyone. And everyone will be, like, in awe of you. They won't be ashamed of you. They'll be like, how'd she do that? Fucking hell. Can we boom against the FLU? Don't want kids being sick. Well, stop saying it, Whitney. Someone walked up to me the other day in the street and I was talking about the cat and I said, oh, can you, have you seen my cat? He said, oh, don't come too close. I've got C word. I said, oh, don't worry about it. And I still stood there and he went, he stood back and I, he was like shocked that I didn't give a shit. I'm like, dude, that's, it's not my reality. Don't even worry about it. Now here's my cat, <laughs> right? Can we firm again? Oh, I saw the one. As a model, nude is a common thing. Not ashamed at all, although I do understand it's less explicit. Look, guys, models have to be nude all the time. Of course they do. It's just the next step up. That's all it is. Don't worry about it. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you come and join the squad and get on the Make Them Obsess mini course. It's already started. It's going to stay in there forever. Okay, and then the uh, coaching will be starting soon in there. And if you want one-to-one -one coaching with me, you have to actually be a member of the squad and also have done my self-concept course because it's advanced coaching. Okay, and then I will be live in the Facebook group on Friday and maybe TikTok before then. I'm not sure because I'm so goddamn busy, as Jenna knows. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.